Hi, I'm Master Deputy Kelly Griffith with the Richland County Sheriff's Department SRO Division, and welcome back to part two of our You Save Online. I would like to tell you about a social media experiment that I did. I put out a post and I used only Twitter. And I wanted to see how far that post would go in just 24 hours. So on Monday at 9.30 a.m., I posted my picture in uniform and a letter explaining what I wanted to do, that I was sending this out and I wanted to see how far it would go. At 9.30 that night, just 12 hours later, it had been retweeted over 1,000 times. And 24 hours later, at 9.30 the next morning, it had been retweeted almost 10,000 times and over 4,000 people had commented on my picture and my post. Now, by 9.30 that evening, that tweet had reached 15,000 retweets. That means somebody had retweeted it and sent it out again over 15,000 times. There were now over 7,000 comments and over 11,000 likes on it. So let's do some math. In 24 hours, that equals up to 1,440 minutes. And in those 1,440 minutes, that equals up to 86,400 seconds. So if we really do the math, that tweet averaged a retweet every 12 seconds. So where all did that tweet go? So as the maps come up, you're going to see little red dots pop up. Now, those red dots mean that that tweet was retweeted in that state or in that area. And some of those red dots were retweeted multiple times in that area. So in the United States, we hit every state. We went all over Canada. We went into South America. We also went into Europe. Australia, Asia, Africa. In just 24 hours, my picture was in every state in the continental United States and all over Canada and in every continent in the world except the Antarctica. But in 48 hours, the Antarctic station retweeted it. That's crazy. In 48 hours, just two days, my picture and the story that I had was told all over the world. I even had a lady that took my picture and made it look funny. She photoshopped it and gave me this really funny hat and put a little rat over my shoulder. But she put me on the beach and I was happy about that. But this is what she wrote. Dear Officer Griffith, I took a few minutes to illustrate to your students how quickly someone can change and alter a photo. This silly picture is fake, but it only took me seven minutes. But there are some bad people out there who can steal photos, make realistic changes, and use them to tell lies. So let's look at my before photo, the one that I posted. Now let's look at what she made me look like kind of funny but she really wanted you to know that there are people that are out there that can take your photo any photo that you put online and make it change it make it look like you are somewhere that you should not have been or in a position that you should not have been i think it's important for us to know the numbers on how far this went there were, in 24 hours, this was retweeted almost 15,000 times. Somebody hit the like button, put the little heart on it, almost 11,000 times. There were close to 7,000 comments on this tweet. Now, if you look at the word impressions, what that means is the number of times people saw this tweet on Twitter. Look at that number. 1,793,541 times. That's the number of times that people saw this tweet on Twitter.
Twitter. Keep your personal information private. One of the cruelest forms of cyberbullying occurs when a bully hijacks another student's account, locks them out, and then pretends to be that student. By the time that student gain, regains access of their account, if they ever do, their name and their reputation could be smeared across the internet. So to help you ensure that you never have that information stolen, it's very important to keep your personal information out of social media. When I say personal information, I'm talking about your full date of birth, your phone number, your home address, all of that, don't put it on social media. And I want you to create a very strong password. Strong passwords are very important. Do not give your password out to your friends, but their parents, they need to have your passwords. Any social media account that you have to put a password in, your parents should know your password to each and every one. That is important. Your parents are going to keep you safe online. But don't use simple phrases like your date of birth and one, two, three, four. That's not a very strong password. Use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, symbols, and numbers. Another good way of choosing a very strong password is to make what we call a mnemonic phrase into a password. For example, I, John Brown, was born at 5 in the a.m. So how can we make that into a password? Well, look at this. That's a pretty crazy password that probably nobody will figure out, but you know what it means. So it's important to ask yourself, what is your reputation like? And how do you want your internet reputation to be viewed? Do you want to be viewed like this? Or like this? I want you to strive to have a great reputation in person and on the internet. Thank you.